is what? <gasps> oh no! But I'm pretty sure this is going to be passed on to a friend or my daughter if she can. Okay, let's have a little swatcheroo. It's a very pale, dusty pink. This is Jen. It's Hi there, my lovely, lovely, festive, sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are all well. In today's video, we are looking at number 22 in all of these little boxes. Getting close, guys. Okay, let's check out the glossy box. And in this drawer, we have some squirmy worms. And under the squirmy worms, there is an Illum Mask product. I'm always happy to see Illum Mask. I feel like it's a really fancy brand. I feel like it's a brand I don't really pay attention to unless it's in one of these boxes and I'm like, oh, fancy, you know. So, Illamasqua Ultra Matter Lipstick. What's Ultra Matter mean? Climax Ultra Matter Lipstick. So, Climax is the name. A color intense lipstick. Lipstick, sorry. A color intense lipstick with an ultra matte finish. This smooth matte formula glides onto lips for comfortable, non-drying, continuous wear. Unlock your individuality. Okay, well the colour looks like it's quite a wearable colour. I'm not really huge on lipsticks, which you probably already know, um, if you follow me regularly. But I do like trying them. <laughs> I really do like trying to wear lipstick, I just get too, like, bothered by it, and I just can feel it's there all the time, and I'm just like, oh, is it smudged all up, or what, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, the colour's looking alright, it looks very matte. It's got, like, little texture all the way around, like it's got a knitted surface on it or something. I doubt you can see that, but it's kind of giving it like almost a frosted effect because it's all knitted around. <laughs> okay, let me swatch. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, that was a mistake on me. I opened it fully before I swatched it. Oh, I'm sorry, little lipstick. <laughs> I can just pop it back in and pretend that didn't happen. Let's do that. <laughs> well, that's going to be hard to give to a friend now, isn't it? I'll have to keep it now. Okay, I actually quite like it. It might be a little light for me, like the colour is maybe just a touch too nude pink for me. Well, I'm keeping it. It's going into my small lipstick um, collection, which is usually just like MAC lipsticks and one or two others. Because I just feel like MAC lipsticks, you can't really not keep them. Iconic. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll try and use it. It's probably going to be not my colour. But yeah, I still appreciate getting an Illumasca lipstick in the box though. So let's have a look at Blissine for today. And once again, this is very light. And that might just mean it's an accessory. I don't know. Let's see. Such pretty packaging. I feel like I say it almost every single time, but I think they're the only ones that really made an effort with the packaging this year to make it look really Christmassy. Oh, we have a little, probably, lip product in here. lips. Polar lip balm. Oh, that's cute. 
So it's a lip balm from Polar. Um, real cream from Lapland. The genuine Lapland cream, sorry. <laughs> tinted. This tinted lip balm, concentrated in Arctic berries, revisits the ancestral beauty secrets of Lapland women. From the first application, lips are hydrated, nourished, protected, and lightly coloured. Apply as often as needed. Well, it's a lip balm, so it's going to need a lot of applications. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wonder if I've used the Polar one, the one that's blue, which is just like, a, doesn't have a, a, any colour to it. I doubt I enjoyed it, otherwise I would still be using it. Let me just pop a little touch on my hand. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be passed on to a friend or my daughter if she can use it. She's very sensitive to this kind of stuff though. Okay, it's just a little tinted lip balm. It's actually a nice amount of colour there. So I guess this is also a quite a nice thing, just I'm not into tinted lip balms. I just feel like lip balm makes you need more lip balm. I've said it probably a million times in these videos, but it's true. A doctor confirmed it, guys. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the beautiful box. I wonder if it's going to be a lip product too. Isn't that weird how they kind of sync up sometimes? I have no idea what that means. Like to tent something up? Maybe it's gonna be like anti-aging or something. Tense up your skin. It is 29 euros. Termine par ta mission boost parfait. Oh, it's gonna be for like the, the chest. Neck and chest maybe. Is the tube. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, crème, cou et décolleté. So, neck and bust or décolleté. Whichever you prefer. Biothalus Cosmetics. B de Koji. So, Koji berries. And it is nourishing. So, I don't really know anything about Koji berries. Like, if they're supposed to be nourishing. So, apply one to two times a day. Circular movements on your skin that is uh, clean and dry on your bust and décolleté. Isn't your bust and décolleté the same thing? They mean neck because they said cou et décolleté on the front, neck and décolleté. Anyway, you can use it on probably all of your body. Let me just pop a little here. We can smell wonder if it's like fruity because of the goji berries or not. Smell. Yeah, we've got some fruitiness to it. It still smells like a cream cream though. If that makes sense. <laughs> it smells nice though. Um, kind of fresh, slightly fruity. Nothing too much, but yeah. Okay, I'll get some use out of that. Not a super exciting product. For the 22nd, but I guess a good product. I'll definitely get use out of it anyway. More than these two for sure. Okay, so now on to my little box, which isn't super light. It's a nice heavy box. Let's cross our fingers for a product. <laughs> It's a brush. A brush, no, a blush. It's like, guys. <laughs> okay, makeup forever. Artist blush. Oh, that sounds cool. I'll look at the red on the side. Wow. Professional makeup forever. Professional Paris. Farage, which is blush. 
co-created with our pros, Artist Blush is highly pigmented and endlessly blendable. Its unique silky texture fuses with your skin and blends easily for a long-lasting, homogenous result. To create your own look, our color experts have developed luminous, matte, or iridescent shades suitable for each skin tone. Made in Italy. Ooh. And this is B220 Joyful Pink. Oh, this sounds cool. Okay, I like it. Let's go. Okay, we have a little black plastic package here. Little packaging. Oh, let's... Okay, I just got it. That's their lips with like a brush. Like a makeup brush held in the lips. Yeah, I just saw that. I was like, oh, well, that's just a line with some lips in it, but it's not. It's like a makeup artist. I think the brush, that's cute. I'm not sure I've ever had anything for makeup forever before. Not something that was usable, because if I did get something, I would have kept it if it was usable, but no. Okay, let's have a little swatcheroo. It's a very pale, dusty pink. Almost like a bit peachy, I would say. What do you think? Or am I just comparing it to those reds? That's why. <laughs> okay, that's a nice usable color. Yeah. Okay, I have a nice new little blush. Um, it is very silky. I see what they mean. It's powdery but silky. Okay, I like that. It's crazy because um, my little box, I've been like my least favorite pretty much throughout the whole thing. And then suddenly it's just like, Favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> okay, so here are the four products for today. Looks a little themed, doesn't it? Black, white, and pink, or black, white, and red, more like. Nice. And I was able to swatch everything <laughs> for the first time. Um, all of these I will be keeping. The lipstick. I probably was going to pass that on to a friend, but because I broke it while I swatched it, I'll just keep it. <laughs> but I think it might be a bit too nude for me. The lip balm, the tinted lip balm, I'll probably pass that on to my daughter, but if she has any reactions to it, she'll have to stop using it pretty quick. But um, yeah, I like Polar in general, just not lip balms. Then the cream, which I swatched around here. <laughs> can't see it, but I swatched it. It smells pretty nice, very soft, powder, kind of, like a powdery, fruity smell, if that makes sense. I like it. I'll definitely get use out of it. And then, the blush, which is pretty cute. A nice little peachy pink. It was a really lovely day. I feel like we might be going more into makeup as we get closer to Christmas. I think that's why who got two lip products and a blush in the same in the same day. They might just all be going towards the makeup, which is fine by me. <laughs> okay, so my favorite for today is the Makeup Forever blush, my little box, and I think they're all pretty good actually. I mean, if this was just a random lip balm and it wasn't polar, I would probably be like, yeah, I would that's not a great one. But because it's polar and I do appreciate polar, um, I figure if you're gonna get a lip balm, might as well be a polar one. Yeah. Okay, so which one is it for you guys? Is it the Illamasca lipstick number one? Glossy box. Is it number two? the scene with the polar lip balm. Is it number three, beautiful box, with the Biothalus Cosmetics neck and bust cream? The Joji, I was gonna say Joji berries, not Goji berries. <laughs> or is it number four, 
my little box with the makeup forever blush this is one for me <laughs> with a nice day okay so let me grab the tea for today and we can start the cozy sleepy blanket scratching outro so the tea for today is the black tea cinnamon and blueberry which is not the best of the teas, but it's not the worst. It's a mid tea for today. That's fine. Okay, so that is everything I have to show you for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it relaxing and fun. Oh, really. To see what was behind the little flap, or what was in the drawer, and in all the boxes. If you've been enjoying this series and are looking for any extra content from me, because when we get back to January, I won't be doing a video per day, guys. Sorry, <laughs> or even the end of December or such. So, if you would like to continue seeing as much content from me, you might have to subscribe to my other two channels which are less productive but they're still there. <laughs> I do post sometimes. And if you would like even more, you could pop over to Patreon and for three euros per month you get access to all of the perks. Sleepy shoutouts, birthday shoutouts, horoscopes, video ideas, polls, book club, early access, lots of things like that. And if you sign up before the end of December, you can pop your birthday into the post that is pinned on my Patreon page. And you can be included in the big If you made it to this part of the video without falling asleep, I would like you to put a little dancing emoji in the comments. Just a little woman dancing, man dancing, or if there's any others that dance. I only know them two. <laughs> Whichever dancey emoji you can find. You can just pop that in with your normal comment, letting me know what you had in your advent calendar today, or which one you like best from mine. And if you are far too sleepy, you can just pop that little emoji in there by itself. I'll know what you I hope that every single one of my lovely, lovely, festive sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, if you celebrate Christmas or not, I hope that you can find your own. For example, if you are in Lone Boot in British Columbia, Canada, like my lovely, lovely patron, Amy. Hey, Amy, I hope you're well. Thank you for all of your lovely. You all have a lovely, lovely 22nd of December, and I'll see you.